boys and girls, welcome to story time where we learn more about Jesus. Please clasp your hands, close your eyes, let's pray before we get into it. Dear Heavenly Father, please be with us and help us to have a wonderful time during story time learning more about you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our story is entitled, Jesus Care for Joseph. Now, Jacob had 12 sons. One of them was Joseph. And Jacob loved Joseph very much because Joseph loved Jesus. Now, Jacob made Joseph a very beautiful coat of many colors and that made his brothers very jealous. Now, um, Jacob, sorry, Joseph had dreams. He dreamt one night that they were in the field and his brother sheaves bowed down to his. And Jacob, Joseph also dreamt that the sun, the moon, and the stars bowed down to him. That made the, his brothers very angry. Now one day, while his brothers were out in the field, Jacob called him and said, go look for your brothers. Take some food to them. While Joseph was on his way, his brothers saw him coming in the distance, and they saw him in that beautiful coat, and they said, let's um, get rid of Joseph. No, that wasn't nice. They were having bad thoughts about Joseph, and they decided that they will go ahead and sell him to some merchant. merchant was going to Egypt and his brothers got the idea that they could sell him to this merchant who was going to Egypt. Now Joseph did not want to go to Egypt because in Egypt he would be sold as a slave and he wouldn't be able to see his little brother Benjamin anymore. He wouldn't be able to see his father anymore. That made him cry. But while he was on the way to Egypt, he remembered that Jesus is always with us. Jesus was with him on the way to Egypt and he promised in his heart that he will always be obedient to Jesus. And so while he was in Egypt, Though it was very hard and he encountered much difficulty, jo Joseph was very obedient to Jesus and he always loved Jesus. <clears throat> and so while he was in Egypt, Jesus allowed Joseph to become a very important man in Egypt. In fact, Joseph was the second to um, the king in Egypt. And there was a famine going on in the land. And Pharaoh put Joseph in charge of the food because Famine means that there is not much rain and there is not much food for people to eat. So therefore, they had to store up food for the years that they wouldn't be having any rain. And it did not rain for, it did not, they didn't have much food for seven years. They had drought for seven years and that was very hard. So people from everywhere came to Egypt to get food. So their brother, his brothers, one day went to Egypt looking for food. Joseph recognized that it was his brothers, but they did not recognize him. And so they came in and they asked for food, and Joseph recognized them, and 
they bow down to Joseph and Joseph remember that dream and when Joseph told them that he was Joseph they were very very surprised they were actually scared but Joseph was forgiven and he had forgiven his brothers for being unkind to him Joseph gave them lots of food and invited them to come and live with him. Wasn't that nice? Joseph was being like Jesus. And you know, boys and girls, it's always good for us to be like Jesus. We should always remember to be forgiving. If our friends have done us something that is unkind, we should be forgiving, even if they're not being nice. Okay, so remember next time when someone does something that is that you do not like, just remember Joseph, remember Jesus. Let us always be like Jesus. So let's clasp your hand, close your eyes, and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the story today. Help us to be forgiven like Joseph, and help us to be kind to everyone. In Jesus' name, amen.